next tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as the Babadook. Now the Babadook, if you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you guys, but it's a really awesome new type of horror film, so um, definitely go see it if you've not seen it, it's brilliant. Um, I went for a more illustrated version of the Babadook, like from the book that's in the film, rather than the one you see flashed on the screen every now and again, because that makeup's a bit more simple, so I thought I'd try and go a bit in a different direction. Um, I hope that's okay. Um, it, as always, this was requested a ton of times when the film came out, um, and I'll flash on the screen now the first few people that requested it. Obviously I can't shout everyone's name out because this video would be about two hours long, but here they all are and the very 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 first person that requested it was right here so thank you so much for requesting it but thank you everyone that requested it so yeah if you like to learn how to recreate this makeup stay tuned so to start off with i've already blocked out my eyebrows so i'll pop a link on the screen here to a tutorial where i teach you guys how to block them out just so i don't have to do it in this video to make it a bit shorter yeah so then i'm going to take a stargazer lip pencil in black and i'm going to use that just to start tracing on the shape of the mouth that i want now this mouth is quite big so it's going to be probably about up to here don't worry about going over your nose because the nose is going to be cut off anyway because i think it's got to be quite blocky so yeah so just sketch it on don't worry about it being too neat for now Okay, so don't worry about it being neat because this is going to be a whole lot of illustration and sketchiness. So, yeah, it really hasn't got to be symmetrical or anything like that. So, I've got three layers here. So, I've got this outside of going to be the black silhouette. Then you've got the white lip and then you've got the black gum on the inside. Then I'm going to start drawing on the um, really, really misshapen teeth that are all flat on top for some reason. So, they're not pointy. It kind of makes them cute, I guess, in a weird way. Then I'm going to take a MAC Chroma Cake colour, which is in white, so watercolour, and I'm going to use that to paint on the teeth. Then I'm going to take a Makeup Forever Black uh, Aqua Cream colour, and I'm going to use that to paint on the inside of the mouth. Then I'm going to take the white water colour again and I'm just going to paint in the lip around the whole mouth. Then I'm going to take my Stargazer lip pencil again and I'm just going to start tracing on the shape that I want for the eyes. So it's very much rounded shape here and it gets smaller in the middle. Then I'm just going to paint the inside of the middle area here in the white water colour. Then I'm going to take the Makeup for a Black Cream again. I'm just going to paint on my eyelids and just around my eye. I'm just going to make it fairly rounded for now because then I'm going to sharpen it up afterwards with some sharp, sketchy lines. Okay, so then using the black cream, I'm going to start jagging the shapes out, but it's going to be very, it's going to be rounded, but it's still going to be straight rounded, if that makes sense. So very straight edges to make it round, yeah. <laughs> Then I'm going to take a Grimace Black Cream. The reason I'm using a Grimace Cream now is because this stuff doesn't dry and it blends it up with further. And I'm just going to put that on the insides of my eyes and over the top of the bridge of my nose and just sweep the colour downwards so it fades off. Then I'm just going to take the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream and an angle brush and I'm just going to start drawing in in between these lines just to sharpen the nose a bit. So remember it has to be really sharp and angled. Then I'm going to take a Snazaru black watercolour and I'm just going to paint on the outside of this edge completely and my neck and my ears unfortunately. I hate painting my ears but for you guys I will do it. <laughs> Then I'm going to take a regular paintbrush and I'm just going to get it quite wet, more wet than colour. And I'm just going to put that in the black watercolour. So the idea now is that I'm going to be, should be able to just sketch these kind of marks on, so really rough. But I'm going to go this way and I'm going to go all the way around the edge of this face and just messy it up, just so it looks more illustrated. 
then the fun part I'm just going to load the brush up with loads and loads and loads of black then get it really wet and then I'm going to spackle this onto my face more so the nose area so I'm just going to take the brush it's going to be really messy but and just flicker it Okay, so you're left with this bladder effect that it kind of looks like, I mean, if it was made, for example, with a quill or if it was drawn with an ink pot kind of thing, it's just ink splatters. Yeah. Then I'm just going to take a Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen in black. I'm just going to do a few quick, sharp lines going across the face here on top of the forehead. Then I'm just going to take the white watercolour, but only a tiny bit of it, and I'm just going to do one highlight along the bottom of the lip going across. Then all that's left for me to do is pop in my contacts, my costume, and I'm done. And there we go, so to complete the look, I popped on a black top hat, a medium black wig, which I've backcombed and cut up like crazy, because I wanted to have like, the fuzziness that he's got there, somewhere in the look. Um, I popped on a black coat, which I absolutely love, but I've had to kind of destroy it for this video. Um, I've sewed in a really large hump in the back of it, just so he got the hunchback like he seems to have in the illustrations. Um, and I popped on two black gloves and some black pointy paper claws, which I actually got sent in my P.O. box by a fan, with no letter or anything, just from someone called Ryan. So, thanks Ryan, I thought they'd be really cool for this video, so yeah. <laughs> And I also popped in two black contact lenses from eyesprite.com. I'll pop the link in the description bar below. They're 22mm Scalera lenses. I just thought they'd make the look look quite dead-eyed and creepy-looking like the illustrations. Speaking of which, I hope it's okay that I did the illustrated version from the book. It just seems... I don't know, the makeup use that's flashed on the screen in the film, it just seems very... not basic, but it feels like there could be more to it, so I hope this version's okay. So yeah, as always, if you like this tutorial, please make sure to you know the usual. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time. Bye.